have asked very pointed questions about why my videos are recorded at such a high rate of responding with very low interstimulus intervals. There's a reason why I teach this way. And as a behavior analyst, I would hope you could have discerned that reason on your own. However, I suppose, given the fact that you haven't, I shall explain it to you. Because if you want to know the reason why someone's responding might be the way it is, you might have to look at their history, right? Isn't that what we've taught you before? You have to look at the history of why someone is, what has happened to someone in order to understand why they're doing what they're doing today. So if you'd like to know exactly why it is that I speak fast, you need to go back and look at all the classes that I've taught over the years. And, for example, when I stand up in front of a classroom and I teach about the material, I have found that if I speak slowly, and if I pause, and if I take my time, that I have a tendency to put students to sleep. And if I do that, you are not attending. So what I have learned to do over the years is speak quickly in my classroom, and one of the things that that does is it makes sure everyone is a pair of attending to me and stimulus and it makes it over them. It's just, just, just too much to attend to. And oh my gosh, <laughs> there's a couple other side effects of speaking quickly in class that people tend to pay a really, really close attention to everything I'm saying. Why? Because they figure that everything I'm saying is really, really important. I don't know if that's true. But anyway, what I've found is that people do tend to pay attention a little bit more when I speak quickly. They tend to ask more relevant questions, which reinforces me which means my rate of responding is being reinforced, as we know from behavior analysis, that that's what happens. So I've been reinforced to speak this quickly. And the cool thing about doing this on a YouTube channel is that you can download it. And why do I know that you can download it? Because we have made sure that everything we do is under a Creative Commons license, which means you can download it, copy it, edit it, send it out. You can take it as your own. Of course, everyone will know that it's really ours, but it doesn't matter because we're sharing these materials with everybody. In fact, they're called open educational resources. So when you do download these things, the really cool thing that you can do is you can hit pause and you can go backwards. It pause, and you can watch that over again, right? You can do it, pause, and do it, pause, and you can do it again. You can go one word at a time. You can take notes. It's a really cool thing, this awesome video that is digitized and stored on your phone and on your computer and everywhere in the cloud, and you can copy it and share it and center it. You can even post it to Facebook for all I care. But some people attempt to punish me. <laughs> but competing contingency and certain reinforcers always win. So you're pretty much stuck with me speaking really fast while I'm, while I'm teaching about this material. But it's a good thing you can download it, pause it, rewind it, and do all that fun stuff. So anyway, that's really all there is to it. It's just a bit of a history of me delivering material and delivering it quickly. Have fun! Watch some videos. Enjoy. Take care. See you all.